The SEG generator, SEG, is a magnetic diode, and what one may consider one of the original free energy devices. The inventor of the technology is, the, is Professor John Robert Roy Searle of England. The SEG in essence is a composite ring made of an electron reservoir, a rare earth like neodymium, a magnetized accelerator stage, iron or nickel, an electron flow regulator stage, nylon 66 or Teflon, and finally, a paramagnetic layer, aluminium or copper. The design of the SEG is both beautifully simple and infuriatingly complex at the same time. Inside each of these IGVs, there is a powerful three-ring SEG, which provides levity to the craft through a combination of magnetic, electrostatic, and flywheel effects, many of which I freely admit are beyond my comprehension. The iron element in the SEG plate, the big ring, is magnetized with a combined DC and AC magnetizing sequence which causes many poles to form all over the surface of the iron in a wave-like pattern corresponding to the AC frequency used. The iron element is then combined with the others, which are not involved in the magnetizing process, in a process called centering pushing them together under pressure. The same is done for the smaller magnets, or rollers, except that each roller consists of eight stacked segments held together by the magnetic field. When you have 12 roller stacks and a correctly magnetized plate, and place the rollers on the plate as below, something truly amazing happens. There are only 10 rollers in the picture for safety reasons, as in a full set, the rollers will accelerate to 250 km per hour around the plate. This incredible feat is due to the instability of having an AC sign imprint on the plate and a cosine print on the rollers instability created as the field's conflict causes the rollers to orbit the plate. They are held down by the magnetic field and thrown out by the centrifugal forces, so the rollers do not actually touch the plate when in motion. Thus, friction is virtually non-existent, and the high electrostatic charge accumulated by the SEG soon ionizes all the nearby air and pushes it totally away from the SEG, enveloping it in an intense vacuum. High voltage flashover thus becomes impossible, and the potentials created by the generator can reach monstrous levels. Unlike any other form of electrical technology, the presence of electron flow throughout the generator actually cools it, reducing the resistance. This is due to free electrons being pulled out of the air and the resulting energy deficit causing the air to cool. As one places a greater and greater load on the SEG's induction coils, fitted so that the rollers pass through them to produce high-frequency AC, the rollers accelerate to accommodate the added energy drain, more power is pulled from the air, and the temperature lowers even further. A critical point is eventually reached. At 4 Kelvin, the SEG superconducts and totally loses all electrical resistance. At this point, it levitates, completely enveloped in a perfect vacuum. Without control, it will accelerate up away from the Earth and disappear off into space, never to be seen again. To control it, a powerful radio frequency emitted nearby is required. If the same RF is transmitted as the AC frequency used to magnetize the rollers, they will completely stop. This acts as an ideal control gate, preventing the loss of costly generators, 